Did you know that the North Star has not always been the North Star and won't always be? And in a few hundred years, we won't even have a North Star at all. Here's how this works. Earth is a big spinning ball, right? So it has an axis going through the middle and two poles, a South Pole and a North Pole. Now, if you were standing on the North Pole at night and looking straight up, you would see the stars making big circles around a point centered above your head in the sky. That's called the North Celestial Pole. And there happens to be a kind of middle and bright star nearby called Alpha Ursa Minoris, which we have nicknamed Polaris, pole star, Polaris, get it? But here's the thing, as Earth is spinning, the gravity of the sun and moon yank on it, causing it to make a slow circle. It wobbles. And you've seen this kind of motion before. If you have a spinning toy top on a table, the axis moves around in a slow circle, even as the top is spinning really rapidly. That slow motion is called precession, and the Earth does that too. It takes about 26,000 years for the axis to make a single circle. But that means the pole star changes. Back in 3000 BCE, just before the Great Pyramids were built, Earth's axis pointed toward a middle and bright star called Thuban. Alpha Ursa Minoris didn't become our pole star until a few hundred years ago. And a few hundred years from now, the pole will move on, pointing toward some other star. Well, no star at all. So, ironically, in his play Julius Caesar, when William Shakespeare wrote the famous line, I am constant as the northern star, whose true fixed and resting quality there is no fellow in the firmament. He couldn't have been more wrong. When Julius Caesar was around, there wasn't any pole star. And there are plenty of other stars waiting to take the place of Alpha Ursa Minoris, or Polaris, for now.